You took them public. Because I said my booty all brown. And what else did you say? My coochie pink. Mm. Y'all hate her. She's delivering a whole spirit amongst young girls. This whole spirit is fit to do a number on the young black girl. I teach five-year-old girls ballet. Heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. I'm playing them ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound? They're gonna automatically think a black girl wants it. Because of the imagery of sexy red, black girls are gonna start being molested at a rate that you guys have not seen like no other because of the imagery. Because little black girls is for the start becoming sexually explicit. They're gonna be more like the, the music, only. Sexy Red's booty hole is brown. And everyone knows that. Yeah. Why do they know that? Because it's true. How do you know? Mirror or flexible? Both. And I'll be having my phone going like this. They like the young hoes. So it's no different during slavery when a bunch of drunk slave masters say, hey, man, go get some of Master William, that gal, now, now, that big butt, that gal. And the big butt gal slave girl come open up their booties and they and let these white men have it. It's no difference now. Back, baby. <sighs> Listen, that video was actually taken. Um, was actually produced by the Tip Net Network. So shout out to the Tip Network um, for allowing me to use their video. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this sexy red thing, bro. I, I've got some things to say about sexy red. Have you? Yeah, I've got some things to say about sexy red. Go because on, you um, say some things about sexy red she bro, before is not, I get into. She's not to blame. Okay? Oh, go on. Like as a as an individual. She's been given an opportunity. I don't know her background, but um, I don't, I don't think she came from like a very well-off background, well-off family. I'm not, right. saying, I'm not saying they were poor. Mm -hmm. but I, I doubt they were very, very, very rich. So she's been given an opportunity to be somebody, right? Have an influence, right? Have some money, right? And give herself the life that she wants, right? So she's taking it. So where does accountability come into it? The people who have placed her there. So she's not accountable? No, no, because um, if she decides to say, you know what, I'm having a bad influence on young women and old women, whoever, they'll just replace her. Uh, isn't there a, who's, um, who's the one that ate a guy's ass now they want to switch? Who's that? Sukiana. Yeah, you've got those. You've got... Um, They've done a song together as well. Yeah, right? there's, there's a girl with like a ginger afro. <sighs> Sexy fish. Ice fish. Ice spice. <laughs> Ice spice, sexy fish, which yeah. is a restaurant. Ice fish, which is a artist back ice. in the day. Ice, ice JJ fish. You understand? Yeah, what I'm what, the, the point I'm, <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. Well, the point I'm making is that um, she's just been planted there. She's just a tool to make some people loads of money. And if she was to say that she's not going to do it, somebody else would. Sexy red to me is a woman who does not know what the word accountability is. She does know what the term ghetto is, and she does know what the term degenerate is, right? And I think she's a ghetto degenerate. And I think everyone has some accountability, right? So to be pregnant and to be twerking while you're pregnant and saying, F my baby daddy, and all of this kind of stuff, to me says that, um, that she's obviously got some kind of problems that are now being looked upon as normal, okay? Um, we live in a society, in my personal point of view, where we have a lot of quote-unquote undiagnosed mental health issues. And to be on camera with your pregnant belly, twerking. That's wild. Acting as if this is normal behavior, bro. That's crazy normal behavior says that there's something wrong with you but no one's gonna say it so i'll say it because i say a lot of things and people don't like me for a lot of things but i'll say it the girl's got mental issues okay she's got mental issues there was a time when people like this would be shunned within society regardless of what society you look at you can go back to antiquity and it doesn't matter what color society you're talking about people couldn't come out and do that bro they couldn't do that kind of, women couldn't do that stuff. When you're pregnant, you're in a quote unquote sacred state. People would normally, you know, help you out, you know, come over, 
do things for you. But now you're on video sets, bro, twerking. Pregnant. Pregnant, brother. Talking about how you want to do this and you want to do that and all kinds of debauchery stuff. Bro, she's mentally ill, brother. That's all I'm going to say. She's mentally ill. And the funny thing that, one thing that Charleston White said in that video, people have their problems with Charleston White. I'm not here to say he's great or not great, yeah? People have their problems. But what he said is that black girls are going to start being molested at a rate which is going to be crazy. Why? Because the Sexy Reds and the Sukiyanas are out here showing that young black girls, a woman was on there crying saying young black girls are talking about, I will listen to Sexy Red. Four, five, six, seven years old. Who's, um, who's Ski Yi? Ski Yi. Who's yeah. that? Sexy Red. That's Sexy okay. Red, right? And so if a seven, eight, nine-year-old girl wants to listen to that and wants to dance like her, they're going to sexualize themselves. Once you start sexualizing yourself, there are pedophiles and perverts out there for your children, okay? And a lot of people's children get preyed upon for no fault of their own, right? But what you're going to do is that you're going to, I'm, I'm not victim blaming here, but you're going to shine a light on yourself. Mm -hmm. If you keep sexualizing yourself, you're going to shine a light for the weirdos and the evil pedophiles out there, right? Who are going to go and they're going to do it anyway, but you're going to say, oh, he's going to be like, oh, I'll get that one. Because if that person, if that person was to be something that happens to that person, they don't really value themselves. They're in and around a, um, a, um, let's say they're in and around a bunch of people that don't really value them. And one of the things that, it was a documentary, I remember it, bro. They were asking a pedophile what they look for when they kidnap a child. And one of the things they said is no father around. Damn. Because they said the father's a protector, isn't he? Mm -hmm. But they look for people, they look for children with no father around. So it's just a mother, yeah, that's an easy target. But not over is not not only is just these children only being raised by single mothers with no fathers, they're now being sexualized, bro. They're, they're making targets of themselves and they don't realize. Which is why I'm saying this is part of a larger global conspiracy. Mm. So regardless if it was sexy red, who has got mental health issues, probably daddy issues, and many other issues, mm -hmm. if she didn't do it, somebody else would. They would find someone else to do it. So uh, this is what I've said. While you may be right, yeah, you see this podcast, yeah, we are now as black people in a position to start changing our narratives, right? So I can sit here and change the narrative. A bunch, a million black people could be thought of as X, mm -hmm. but I can be the one that is not because I can change the narrative and I can do this. Every black person now, even just with this, can do that they can change the narrative bro so my thing is but the thing is changing the narrative is not lucrative is it no 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 no. do you get what i'm saying don't there aren't people out mind. there just trying to hand you money to change the narrative right but the bottom line is you can be and so you're saying that yes they'll bring someone else in but we are also within the position to change our own narrative and i think if more people start changing the narrative it will become more lucrative. No, you get cancelled. Look what they did to Kanye West. And he's a powerful person. No, no, and the thing is, because Kanye West is one man. One man can change the world. No one man should have all that power. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Right? That probably would have been a better one to sing, Jesse. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so yeah. I don't know what song that was. That was a Kanye West song. It's Big Sean, Kanye West, and um, someone else. Yeah, that's why I sang you, it. You didn't do it justice, bruv. I won't do any song justice ever. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, is that, yeah, we can change the narrative. If more people started trying to change the narrative, then the narrative would actually change. And then money would go into there. You people, think so? Of course it would. I because... feel like you're, you're an idealist. No, I'm do, an you know what it is? do you know what it is? It's, okay. There was a time where, okay, let's look at this. Football. Mm -hmm. You like football? Love it. Right? Why does football make so much money? Because it speaks to the people. Right. It's because like a, a peasant sport. And people want it, don't they? Yeah. So if the people didn't want football and they wanted Pepsi, I don't know, money would go into Pepsi because the people with money understand that they want to make money. This is capitalism. Mm -hmm. So if there's enough people to consume something, money will go there. 
Yeah. It's not it's not being an idealist, it's just it's being a capitalist, really. If there's enough, you say say a million people on the internet tomorrow said, I'm gonna talk about the consciousness of Buddha, right? Bro, like the there's powers, money in there. You're right, but I just feel like the powers 